you're not interested in the Super Bowl, and you're like, oh, fuck's sake, the weather's, uh, Dante's going to talk about what's coming up with the forecast. If that's your thing, where you're a little bit more interested in the forecast than sports, uh, then I'm here for you. Uh, once I'm done with this, then I'm going to try and get into the Super Bowl. It comes on about 25 minutes or so, so I certainly won't be talking that long. Uh, who are you rooting for, by the way? I'm going to go for the Eagles. I mean, I feel like Casey, it's just, that's always, you know, it's Andy Reid, you know, Patrick Mahomes. That's just the easy to say. But I'm going to go ahead and go with Jalen Hurts. You know, I've watched him since college with Alabama, and then he went over to Oklahoma and everything. So uh, I'll go ahead and, and root for the Eagles. But that's neither here nor there. Let's talk about the forecast, all right? <laughs> so it was a great weekend. Uh, a little cooler yesterday, milder today. Plenty of sunshine both days, though. I mean, you just really just enjoy this time of year soaking up the sun. And we got more to come, too. And we've got warmer temperatures to come as well. It's been a, a warm January uh, and a warm February so far, too. Let's hope we don't pay the piper in March, though. All right, so here are the headlines. And, you know, if you haven't really... Uh, had one of the lives with me before I just kind of use the the forecast we would do on TV but just kind of take a little slower just kind of walk through it and talk as opposed to the tight three three and a half minutes that we would have on the TV side uh, I wouldn't be even talking this much if we were on the TV side about Super Bowl and whatnot and how and what have you because we, we got to go 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 um, but it's a sunny start uh, Monday and Tuesday as well so Valentine's Day looking good uh, partly cloudy skies, a uh, mix of sun and clouds, some warm temperatures. We get even warmer by midweek, Wednesday, Thursday. We're back into the 60s, 50s for uh, your Valentine's Day. Storms, too. We've got to talk about the possibility of some severe thunderstorms by the time we head into the day on Thursday. In February, there's an old weather folklore that says uh, if, it, uh, if you have a thunderstorm in winter, uh, y within 10 days you'll have snow. And that's, that's usually correct because usually you're having a, one of these systems with a warm front comes in, bring you the storms, then a cold front comes in and uh, changes the precip to colder, uh, changes the cold air and the precip into snow from the cold air. So, I mean, it's just, it's really one of those things that will may ring true this week. Uh, maybe as we get into Friday, some lake effect snow showers. So today we went to 52 after a morning low of 25. Morning low is about where we should be this time of year, typical cold, uh, but the normal certainly not. We, normal is 38, normal is uh, uh, a lot cooler than what we did today. At least we don't have what we had back in 1875, the record low of eight below and 68 back in 1999. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, that's <laughs> a little prince for you. Um, sunrise at 726, sunset at 557. So by the time we get to Wednesday, day after the Super Bowl, uh, we'll have a six o'clock sunset. Uh, that's something to look forward to. That screams spring. I think spring training is coming up too. Uh, I was hearing yesterday, uh, PJ Ziegler is gonna be headed to spring training in Glendale, Arizona. Um, by the time we head towards, I think it's the week after, after this week. So next week, next weekend, next week. Um, so spring training is gonna be starting. So if you're a baseball fan, that's, that's also kind of a, a mark to begin uh, spring uh, mark to begin spring with spring training. All right, so temperatures right now 43 in Cleveland, 47 Akron, Canton, New Philly, you're still sitting at 50, 47 in Mansfield, 50 over in Toledo. With nice mild air coming in here, loving this. We'll spend the next couple of hours in the 40s, then we'll drop into the 30s uh, for much of the evening. And we'll kind of stay in the 30s. Overnight low going to be right around 30. Clear skies too. Uh, so it's going to be a quiet night for us. Look at these average highs by month, though. Uh, what we've been seeing so far is more indicative of like March or April as opposed to February. As you look at these average daytime highs, whether you get to May, that's going to be nice. 79 uh, is our average high by the time we head into the month of June. So tomorrow, uh, starting off pretty nice. Temperatures in the lower to mid 30s. Uh, 35 by 8 in the morning. 45 by noon. 50 by uh, four o'clock, plenty of sunshine, wind chills, not far behind. Uh, so we'll, we'll be cool, but we'll be uh, on the nice side in the morning and then by the afternoon, right around 50 again. So similar day uh, tomorrow the, uh, of what we had today. So uh, above average temperatures again, staying in the forecast in the long range, uh, the high temperatures, take a look at these. We get up into the 60s by Wednesday and Thursday. Starting off, can you believe this? This is mid-February. We're starting off uh, with 50s, first couple of days of the week, 60s midweek, 
and then back to reality in the lower 30s by Friday. And then even by next weekend, we're back into the 40s with sunshine and then 50s by next Monday. This just can't be real, can it? It just can't be real. I have the feeling that March is just, I don't know, going to be something else, but we'll see. And that something else could actually mean not even necessarily cold and snow. It could mean that if we continue to see this, these warmer trends, uh, even into March, then that could probably foretell into more severe weather. So sometimes, sometimes some winters, um, I'm recalling maybe, I think maybe two winters ago, I think it was the winter right before I came back here to Northeast Ohio and I was down in Dayton. And Dayton's usually a, a severe weather area in Southwest Ohio. Um, we did not have any severe thunderstorm warnings or, or tornado warnings well into summertime. And I think that um, we were all talking, including the National Weather Service, that the because the colder air, the cooler air just really stuck around for a long time. Uh, and so because that was the case, that really tampered down on the severe weather season, uh, which, I mean, although we love the warm weather, we, we do, but at the same time, we also don't want to have to deal with tornadoes and winds doing power damage, power outages and trees down and all that sort of stuff. So sometimes it's 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 one of those where we got to, you know, uh, really think about what is it that, that you really want. So sometimes the colder air sticking around, we hate it, but it does us a favor because we don't have to deal with that severe stuff. But sometimes we want to warm up <laughs> you know, and sometimes it's a trade off. Uh, but here's the weather whiplash kind of going to feel like spring uh, into this week. Wednesday, we're at 63, then by Friday at 31. So there's that you know, thunder one day, and then within 10 days, you get some snow showers. We're dry Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, maybe an isolated morning shower on Wednesday, but by and large, we're dry. Thursday, we got the rain and the wind coming and some thunderstorms, possibly strong and severe with some really gusty winds and, and, and heavy downpours. Uh, and then we move into Friday. Once the cold air comes in here behind this cold front, we have some morning uh, lake effect snow showers, uh, and that could last through the, out the day. I only got a 20% chance there because one model I think is really sold on that one or two, uh, but the others aren't necessarily. So I just kind of keep that 20% in there and that'll probably go up to a 30 or 40 or something like that. Once we go uh, deeper into the week and we find out uh, and get a better handle on the placement of this front and low pressure uh, and, and the, the uh, atmospheric profile of, of moisture behind the front to see if we'll actually get some precipitation. So our next system coming in midweek, as I mentioned, Wednesday and Thursday. Wednesday, gusty winds coming in, warm temperatures in the lower 60s. Then the severe risk on Thursday when we add in the, the rain uh, and the gusty winds and the thunderstorms. Uh, and then on Friday, colder air behind the front. Uh, any precipitation falling probably is a rain snow mix or all snow showers uh, as we go throughout the, probably more than more snow showers because the, the temperatures are cold enough on Friday where we're only at 31 and, and the morning low of 26. So uh, it's gonna be snow showers uh, throughout the day on Friday if that certainly materializes. Now tonight, 30, clear, cold and, and quiet. Uh, 50 tomorrow, more sunshine. So we're staying on the mild side. Uh, and then the eight day forecast, uh, Valentine's Day 52, partly cloudy. 63 mix of sun and clouds for Wednesday. Uh, the winds becoming gustier, gusty winds, rain and thunderstorms on Thursday, still around 60, then wow, 31. What a shock to the system. We go from 60 to 26 uh, Thursday night and then 31 Friday, cloudy skies around. Then the sun comes back out by next weekend. Skies not only brighten, but temperatures warm up to the lower 40s on Saturday, near 50 on Sunday and then lower 50s and mostly cloudy skies by the time we head into the day next Monday. So uh, we've got uh, we've got a little bit of an up and down in the eight day forecast, a little bit of a roller coaster, not a whole lot. Then we got 50s, we got 60s, got one dramatic 30 on on Friday uh, and then by next weekend back into the 40s. So uh, not not looking too bad for a mid February eight day forecast to, to tell you the truth. And, and most of the days, I believe, are dry anyway. Here, let me look at my little cheat sheet. Um, yeah, Monday, mostly sunny. Tuesday, partly cloudy. Wednesday, partly cloudy. Rain and storms on Thursday. Friday, some snow showers around, but dry for Saturday, Sunday, and next Monday. So most of the days are dry. Looking good. Uh, another good eight-day forecast, in all honesty. I can't. I think somewhere we're going to pay the piper. I keep thinking that. Somewhere, some way, shape, or form, it's going to get us either in, in severe weather or in cold and snow somewhere. March probably is going to be that month where 
uh, and sometimes April too, uh, where we, we're going to have to pay the piper. We'll probably be sitting at like 12 degrees the last day of April or something. Talking about where's that warm January and February at? Anyway, um, about 15 minutes or so until the Super Bowl comes on, I believe. So uh, with that, I will see you. We're coming on late tonight, by the way. So for those of you who like to tune in, um, we will be on, I believe, 1140 uh, is the time that we are scheduled to be on. So it's going to be a late one. Um, so we will see you late at 1140 and then we'll go off the air on Monday morning at 1240. It's a full hour show. Uh, so we'll, we'll see you then. And I'm going to enjoy this Eagles win uh, of the Super Bowl while working here uh, hard for you in the Weather Center. All right, everybody, have a great one. And we'll see you TV side if you're, if you're with us. And if not, I will see you throughout the week.